Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. D's Tech News and Reviews. Recently I was reached to by the people in Multicloud to give their software a chance and review it on my channel. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So let's check it out. So first off, as you probably already noticed, we're in a time where we're depending less and less on physical storage means and relying more on the oh so famous cloud. And within this category we have several options, such as Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. And most of the time, instead of relying on just one of those services, we depend on many of them, sometimes using a certain cloud provider for personal storage, another for work, or for any other number of reasons. This is where multi-cloud comes in. Multi-cloud allows you to conveniently access and manage all of your cloud drives from one interface. Now, it is worth mentioning that at the time of recording this video, multi-cloud is a web-based app, meaning you can only access it through a browser. It doesn't have a standalone phone app as of yet, with no mention of one in the works. So this one might be better for those looking for a way to access their multiple accounts from a more conventional method, such as their home PC. Nevertheless, I proceeded to navigate to their website, which I will post in the description below. Once you arrive at the website for the first time, you basically are greeted with two options. One is to experience the service without signing up, and another is to create an account. If you choose the former, you will be directed to the page where you can begin to add different cloud accounts. A pop-up will show up on the top right of the window asking you to please remember your original username, which is usually multi-cloud followed by a six-digit number, and your password, which seems to be randomly generated. You can also go the other route, as mentioned before, and just sign up with an account and linking it to one of your emails. In which case, it is a very familiar process in which you create your username and password, link your email, and fill in a capture request after which you can confirm your account by clicking on the link that they will send to your email. Once you're in, you can now start to add accounts to MultiCloud. So let's say that we decide to add a OneDrive account. First thing you'll have to do is sign in using your login information. And in most cases, you'll have to give the cloud permission to allow a third-party app, or in this case, MultiCloud, to access your files. And that's it, easy as that. Now you just have to repeat this for as many accounts as you want in MultiCloud. Transferring files amongst the accounts is a breeze. All you need to do is drag and drop. Now, there are some things that I found out while using MultiCloud that you guys should know. First off, MultiCloud is a file manager, meaning you can link all of the cloud drives you want and switch files amongst them, but you cannot edit the files from MultiCloud. As the fine print says, MultiCloud lets you move, delete, copy, upload, and download files, but that's about it. So if you need to add a few extra figures to that spreadsheet, you're going to have to go to your actual Google Drive anyways and edit the document from there, which I found to be kind of a bummer. Next, if you go to the bottom of the intro page, you'll see that there is a paid version. When you sign up by default, you're signing up for the free version, which is limited to 10 terabytes of data traffic and slower data transfer speeds. And finally, while adding cloud accounts seems to be easy, removing individual accounts requires a couple of more steps than meets the eye. You can go to each individual account, right click that accounts tab, and you will be presented with a few options, one of which is to remove the account. When you click on the remove button, the selected drive will indeed be removed from the list, but MultiCloud will continue to have access to said account. So at this point, you would have to go to the cloud storage directly and revoke MultiCloud's access to said account. I wasn't a huge fan of the fact that MultiCloud didn't at least incorporate a pop-up letting you know that they still have access to your personal files, something that hopefully they will add in future updates. So guys, that was my review on MultiCloud. I wouldn't recommend this for someone who needs to be constantly editing files that are in cloud storage, seeing that you're restricted to pretty much copying and pasting. But if you just want to keep track of your photos that are spread out through different cloud drives, I suggest you give MultiCloud a try. Thank you guys for watching, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more tech news and reviews. See you next time.